Welcome to the Nitric Image Repository, or Nitric IR for short. Here you can find curated, community-generated neuroimaging datasets that might help in your research. You may find this front-end familiar as Nitric IR leverages XNet's popular data storage platform. In the middle section, Projects box, you'll see a list of all the datasets you may access. Unlike Nitric, where you do not have to register to download its tools and resources, you do have to be a registered user and a member of the Nitric tool or resource that owns the dataset to download most of the data on Nitric IR. If you are not already registered with Nitric, it's free and easy. From the Nitric home page, click the register link. Fill in all the required information and click the register button at the bottom of the form. Your registration is automatically approved. Simply click on the link in the email you receive to verify your email address and establish your account. If you lose the confirmation email or forget your password, you can always access this information from the member login page. Click here to reset your password and click here to resend the confirmation email to establish your account. Let's log in as a registered Nitric user and go back to the image repository. Click Image Repository under Tools and Resources to get back to the IR homepage. This user is not a member of any Nitric tool or resource and only has access to the unprotected public datasets. But there is a secret door to finding the other datasets you may wish to use in your research. We can see a list of those protected datasets by clicking Other Projects in the navigation tree on the left side of the page. So ABIDE and ADHD 200 are protected data, and we know that because there are locks in the access column. You must be a member of the tool resource that owns the, a protected data set in order to access it. So you need to join the 1000 Functional Connectomes project on Nitric to access ABIDE and ADHD 200 data. We can do that from Nitric IR. Click on the title or ID for ABIDE. The message you see indicates that this user does not have access to the Abide data. Click Request Access here. Add a comment if you like and click the Submit Request button. You will need to wait for an administrator to approve your request. When your membership is approved, all data sets owned by 1000 FCP will be listed on your IR homepage. Let's log out and log back in as a member of 1000 FCP to demonstrate this. Now we see Abide and ADHD 200 listed in the projects box. Since both datasets are owned by 1000 FCP and this user is a member of that resource. Now that we have access to all this data, let's see how we can find images that would be meaningful for our research. Click the Advanced Search link at the top right of the page. In Step 1, we are starting with the data we want returned. Leave Pivot Data Type as MR Sessions to start with this data. In step two, we are selecting additional data that we want to show in our results. Brief and detailed are predefined column sets for the data type. Let's include subjects. We have to select brief because a detailed column set is not defined for subjects. Let's also select the detailed column set for MR sessions to bring back all the data we can for the image sessions. Click the next button to continue. In step three, we enter our search criteria to refine the results to our specific needs. On the MR Sessions tab, let's select male for gender, enter 10 to 20 for age, three for field strength, and 2000 milliseconds for resting TR. Click the submit button to see the results. We can see that we have 541 MR sessions that meet our criteria. This list includes the detailed image session data and the brief subject data that we requested. 
you may choose to look at a specific image session by clicking on the link in the label column. If you click on a scan type, you will see all of its details. You may download all the session data in XML format by clicking Download XML under Download in the Actions box. You may also download specific images for the session by clicking Download Images instead. Here we'll select the, download, the file type that we want, check the images that we want to download, and click the Download button. Then you can save this file to your computer so that you can use it for your research. What if we wanted to download all the images from the search we performed? Let's go back to our results set. To the right, above the results, under Options, we select Download. For step one, we want to select the images, the MR sessions, that we want to include in the download. All are checked by default. For step two, we check the image data to include in the download. You have to select at least one. Let's select rest scans. For step three, we select the download format. We'll just leave direct download with the project and subject included in the file path. For step four, we submit the requested download. You must have Java installed in order to use the download applet. You may get a security warning the first time you use this, but you must run the Java applet in order to continue with the download. If the applet is running, you will see this page, where you can enter or select a folder in which to save your images. Click the Start button to begin the download. This will obviously take some time if you're downloading a lot of images. The progress bar will show your progress, and the message above will indicate how much data you've downloaded until the download is complete. You now have the data stored on your computer for use in your research. So, when you go to publish, please don't forget to acknowledge the Nitric Image Repository so others can benefit from this useful tool.